What an incredible week one in the NFL. Fields with my guy. Starting at number five, my guy Jalen Hurts. I told you this guy can play. My guy Jalen Hurts was outstanding. Three touchdown passes, including an absolute beauty to my guy Devontae Smith. I love that pick when Howie Roseman made it. Hurts showed off his dual threat ability. 264 passing yards, 62 rushing yards. He stole the soul from the Atlanta Falcons. This is the start of something real. My guy, Jalen Hurts. At number four, my guy, Jamar Chase. Oh man, the offseason, preseason narrative drops, 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 more drops for my guy, Jamar Chase, but Listen, there's a reason why he was the best wide receiver in college football in 2019 and why the Bengals smartly picked him at number five overall. Sunday, he destroyed Minnesota. Five catches, 101 receiving yards, and a touchdown. The 100 yards in terms of the receiving yards, the most by a Bengals rookie in their NFL debut. The Joe Burrow-Jamar Chase connection was absolutely sizzling. Joe Mixon, my guy, added some balance. I told you all offseason, don't sleep on the Cincinnati Bengals. My guy, the great Jamar Chase. Number three, my guy, Chandler Jones. He sacked Ryan Tannehill five times. My guy, Chandler Jones, had five sacks on Sunday. Syracuse legend, my guy Chandler Jones. Career high for my guy Chandler Jones. And it matched a franchise record for the Arizona Cardinals. My guy J.J. Watt was tweeting up a storm about just how epic Chandler Jones is. Listen, he set the tone and the tempo. I thought the Arizona Cardinals were the most dominant and complete team week one of the NFL season. You know Kyler and the offense, it's going to sing. They did a great job stopping the run, but I can make that statement based upon my guy, the great Chandler Jones. At number two, my guy, Jameis Winston. I told you all offseason, my guy, Jameis Winston, was going to have a gigantic year in New Orleans playing for my guy, Sean Payton. My guy, Jameis Winston, had five touchdown passes. Bag it, Drew Brees. My guy, Jameis Winston, at the end of the day, tied a single game career high. Listen, Jameis Winston can flat out slink. My guy, Jameis Winston, just needed Sean Payton to stop thinking about Taysom Hill. This was a sensational performance. Look, the headline is obviously anti-Green Bay from that game, but don't sleep on the genius of my guy, Jameis Winston, who did a brilliant job protecting the football. And my number one guy from week number one in the National Football League, my guy, Patrick Mahomes. It's Patty Mahomes' world and we're just living it. My guy, Patrick Mahomes, 337 yards, three touchdowns. My guy, Patrick Mahomes, 11 and 0 in his career in September. My guy, Patrick Mahomes, has 35 touchdown passes, zero interceptions in September. And here's the thing about my guy, Patrick Mahomes. It is fair to say, as I'm watching the game on CBS with my guy, Jim Nance, my guy, Tony Romo, without question, Cleveland outplayed Kansas City. Not even up for conversation and debate. Cleveland was up for the vast majority of the game by double digits. At no point did I actually think Cleveland was going to win. That's because of the sheer genius of my guy Patrick Mahomes, slinging it to my guy Travis Kelsey, slinging it to my guy Tyree Kill, my guy Patrick Mahomes. Still the best football player in the NFL. The Matthew Stafford LA debut lived up to the Hollywood hype. This was a can't miss blockbuster that even out kicked the expectations. Stafford wearing those incredible uniforms, throwing bombs in that fantastic new stadium with fans in the stands for the first time. It was a picturesque scene. Of course, Stafford said he was having fun. 
at the podium with a smiley emoji on his sweater. That was awesome. The Rams are going to lead the league in fun. They're going to lead the league in smiles with Stafford airing it out to this incredible group of wide receivers. Cooper Cup and Robert Woods, we've said it before, we'll say it again. They're an incredible one-two punch. And we told you this offseason, don't you dare sleep on my guy Van Jefferson. Sean McVay was pumped up when we spoke on my Sirius XM radio show. And I brought up Van Jefferson's name as a key weapon. McVay loves him. And let's be honest, he kind of loves everything McVay does right about now. With a major upgrade at quarterback. You know, week one overreactions, they're dangerous. Week one, proving a theory right, puts smiles on everyone's faces and sweaters. Matthew Stanford makes the Rams a true Super Bowl team. Got to get this off my chest, please. Someone, I'm begging you, get Andy Dalton off my TV screen. It's Justin Fields' time to shine in Chicago. Well, what do you know? Andy Dalton had no idea what the hell was going on on Sunday night. Andy Dalton's throwing red zone picks. Andy Dalton was Andy Dalton. Everyone in America and Canada knew that was going to happen except for Matt Nagy. Please, we begged you, begged you to start Justin Fields in week one. Andy Dalton is the worst in prime time. I mean, come on. And by the way, it's the Andy Dalton revenge game this week against Cincinnati. Please, he might lose against the Cincinnati Bengals. I wouldn't be surprised and the Bears defense was terrible too. Let Justin Fields go. He's inspiring, he's a leader, he's smart, he's talented, he's got the arm, the accuracy, the athleticism. The hell are we waiting for in Chicago? Matt Nagy is single-handedly ruining this football season for the Bears. Please, get Andy Dalton off my TV. Gotta get this off my chest, the Buffalo Bills. Yikes. I mean, what, what was that on Sunday? Up 10-0 against Pittsburgh. I, I thought it was in the bank, you know, and from the department of I root for me and my opinions, I've been killing and rightly so Pittsburgh all offseason. You know, I had Josh Allen as the MVP, Bills winning the Super Bowl. I was going to be sick watching Pittsburgh win this game. It was crazy. Special teams killed them. That punt that was blocked, Pittsburgh scored for a touchdown. I thought my guy Sean McDermott was a little bit arrogant with some of these fourth down calls, deciding to go for it. Made absolutely no sense. Didn't like the play calls. Josh Allen didn't play well. The offensive line didn't play well. Now, I would also calm down here. The Buffalo Bills are still going to be phenomenal. It's one game, but... That was a genuine stunner and a legit disappointment. Allen and company will take it out on the Miami Dolphins coming up this week. Got to get this off my chest. Ain't no party like an AFC and NFC West Coast party. Two picture-perfect divisions. I mean, and we talked about this. You can't be surprised. We said in the preseason, the NFC West, AFC West, all eight teams will finish above 500. And I mean that. We said the Rams to the Super Bowl, and we talked about the Cardinals as a playoff team, and we spent all offseason saying they would make it, got into Arizona's domination earlier in the show, and Kyler Murray slinging around, and Chandler Jones doing a great job, and Russell Wilson, he lit up the Indianapolis Colts like a Christmas tree, and Ross is in midseason form. They're poor with Lockett and Metcalf. Absolutely incredible, and listen, San Francisco, even though I don't like what they're doing with Jimmy G and Trey Lance, and they had a bunch of injuries, San Francisco took care of the Detroit Lions. Look, this is not a fluke either. Raiders, if they get that kind of play on defense, they're going to win at least nine games. Kansas City with Patrick Mahomes, of course they're in contention for the Super Bowl, and we told you that the Broncos were strong in every area except quarterback we love denver to smother the giants and that happened and teddy bridgewater plays like this they're going to find a way to outkick my expectations of nine wins justin herbert sensational absolutely awesome that was a great win to get the party started against that great defense and here's what i love Justin Herbert and the Chargers played brilliantly down the stretch of the game. Think about historically, think about last year, all the late game follies, 
Also, we stressed the improvement of the offensive line. Lindsley, the center. We said Rashawn Slater is going to be top three for rookie of the year. The left tackle was brilliant and breathtaking. The Chargers are making the playoffs. And Coolio was light years ahead of the curve. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell for more videos.